All right, guys, uh, back on the Bronco. I am going to weld the bed and the upper quarters, B pillars, and everything out today. This uh, gives me the most heartburn because it's pretty, fi well, it's not final because you can cut it out, but it's final because I don't, I don't want to have to do it again. And I've checked and rechecked my dimensions and doors are shutting really good. So I'm just gonna kind of attack it methodically and go around the Bronco and get it all welded up. So this is a, this is a big step. Probably won't be a whole lot of, uh, of narration on this one because it'll be welding, but what I'll try to do is, is stop and tell you where I'm at. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the B pillars. Uh, well, B pillar then the rear support, B pillar rear support, and get all that locked in place. And then uh, I'll probably come in here and start welding out the tub. Then I'll get in, weld the floor out, and uh, should be in good shape. Everything's got a, a hole, got a place to spot weld it. So I'm excited to get to this point. This is the rear post. What I did here, there's a, when I mocked it up, I screwed it down with uh, some heavier self-tapping screws. Well, I counterboard them so I can have a heavy spot weld once I get this center one welded out. I'll take the screw out and then about halfway through, I've already got it drilled from the backside pretty wide. I just left the, the smaller shank hole up top so the post would line back up. So I weld here, weld these three, I'll remove these, weld these two back out and then finish welding these out and get this corner good and solid and then you go back behind and we'll do more welding back here. I just wanted to show you my little my method to my madness back here. I was talking about a minute ago all I should have to do is just just go down just a an eighth of an inch or so and the bit should just pop through because it's drilled from the back side see there so now I have a nice stepped hole and I can really penetrate down in there and get some good get some good weld on it Changing plans, we're gonna, I'm just gonna weld out this one side and then I'll weld the other side out. I don't wanna bore you guys with you just watching me just do a whole bunch of welding. But, um, so we'll get this welded, do the other side. If I run into something I feel like you might, it might be helpful, I'll stop. But basically all I do is I weld around screws or a pair of vice grip pliers so I can pull it up tight, do my spot, move to the next. So. Uh, Anyways, uh, just wanted to tell you that real quick. If it doesn't look like I did what I said earlier. So I've already welded the two ends, so I'm gonna start welding out the middle. Driver's side is welded in, all spot welds are done. Uh, I went ahead and added just some weld in the corners just to sort of give a little extra support to the, uh, the B pillar here. And I welded up inside uh, along the floor pan just to make sure all this stuff is in there and it doesn't move. And what I'll do is I'll come back after it's on the rotisserie and look for any other areas that I might could add a little bit more weld. And just make sure it's good and strong. I did weld out this back corner. 
yet because I just wanted to make sure before I put the end cap and I put the outer quarter on that I don't have to move this in or out any. So, uh, so I'll, I'll weld that up when I mock that in the plate in the place one last time. So, anyways, uh, it's sort of a short and sweet video today, but uh, making good headway. I'm I'm gonna weld these out real quick. And again, it's it's just more spot welding along the bed, front and back. So I've already got my holes put in there. We'll get all that welded. So next time you see it, we should be putting on the lower quarter panels and end caps. That's good. The welder finally cooled off. Oh, this hadn't been too boring. <laughs> this is it's gonna be the bad thing. I was telling Joni that the further the Bronco goes, the the less content we'll have building on it. Uh, it'll be smaller videos because some of the big pieces are going on it. And uh, so, anyways, uh, bear with us. We'll try to get something worth seeing. And uh, see you next time. Uh, thumbs up and subscribe, please. And talk to you next time.